Let's turn someone's dog into a rogue. I was actually asked to do their specific dog, but portraits are a roll of dice as to whether they'll translate well into a rogue. Luckily, I was able to find this image that worked perfectly. Now, I've actually already made this rug once before, but the customer loved it so much, she ordered another one to give away as a gift. Since there isn't a crazy amount of details, I just grabbed the first color of yarn closest to me and started filling in colors. Although it did get a little tricky towards the ears. After the general outline's done, we go ahead and turn our machine up into disco mode to really crank this project into high gear. I don't really suggest disco mode for all brand new rug makers, but it does help get things going a little bit faster than normal. Boop, boop. 